The Tale of the Three Trees Once upon a mountain top, three trees dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. I want to hold treasure, the first tree said. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the whole world. I want to be a sailing ship, the second tree said. I want to be the strongest ship in the world. I don't want to leave this mountain top at all, the third tree said. I want to go so, so tall that when people look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I'll be the tallest tree in the world. One day, three woodcutters climbed the, mount the mountain with a swoop of the first man's axe. The first tree fell. With a swish of the second man's axe, the second tree fell. With a slash of the third man's axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop, but the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, he wor his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were built that day. Instead, the once strong tree was made into a simple fishing boat. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her strong, into strong beams and left her in the lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to point was to do to point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. The, the but one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as. The young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box and suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a Thai traveller and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. When the storm arose, the second tree shuddered. But when the traveller stretched out his hands and said, Peace, the storm ended. The storm stopped and suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the woodpile. She shivered when she was dragged through the angry crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly, harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful, it had made the second tree strong, and every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being taller, the tallest tree in the world. If you know how to find all our stories, go to YouTube and type Living Books for World Changes into the search bar. Click Go, then select Living Books for World Changes and Videos, and then all our stories are there. We upload new stories every Thursday, so please come back. We love reading stories for you. Come back and listen.